Alright, so today I'm going to be playing this game called Pandemic 2.5. I'm going to be walking you through exactly what I'm doing in the game, why I'm doing it, and hopefully explain as much as possible. I can't explain, of course, everything in the game, um, but I'm going to try to do as most as possible that I can in this 10 or 15 minute video. And after this video, you should feel very comfortable in playing the game because I know it can be somewhat confusing at first if you've never played the uh, first versions of this game or not. So, first and foremost, Pandemic 2.5 is quite simple. The whole goal of the game is for you to kill everyone. That's that's really the goal. And what you do is you create a disease, it infects people, and that infection causes people to die, hopefully, depending on how you create your disease. And uh, you'll lose the game if there are immune or healthy people still living once there are no more infected. So if the government figures out your disease is out there, it's killing a lot of people, they're going to start shutting down borders, they're going to start uh, figuring out vaccinations for it. Once that vaccination gets complete and it gets to the people, that's when you lose. So uh, that's basically, in summary, what this game's all about. And I'm going to click New Game, I'm going to choose Casual, and I'm going to choose Bacterial. By the way, this is where my finger is, that white dot, you can see. You won't have that on your screen, but uh, it's unique to mine how I record my uh, videos and such but uh i'm gonna choose bacterial you can choose any of these by the way they're, they're just personal preference it just gives you different attributes for the game and edit to choose my disease name and i'm gonna name mine we have to be creative here the killer oops because my disease is gonna kill everyone yeah Alright, so you should start out with something like this. Now, you might have a red continent over here, in Australia, over here, over here. I know where Australia is. <laughs> but, uh, mine happened to be where Peru is, and basically, everyone starts out with one infected person. So right now, I have one infected person in Peru. He's carrying my disease. What I want him to do is spread it to other people. I want him to spread it to... Over 6 billion people across this whole planet. That is the whole goal. And I'll explain what the world of what, what I'm clicking right, what this is right here, this menu is in just a second. Don't worry, don't freak out. But uh, before I do that, let me explain what's on the screen. So, all these symbols this is a hospital, this is an airport, and actually, I'm not even going to explain that. The best way to learn what all these are is by just clicking continent and it explains it right there. It has all the symbols listed airports, borders, hospitals. The border, of course, is right there, you know, as the border. And they can close that border so people can't get across if they want to. Um, if you wanted to start the game, right now it's paused, as you can see. You can click uh, or select the time right there. Or uh, times it by four. Or times it, crap. <laughs> Keep on. It's like, go to the main menu. What are you doing holding down the screen for so long? But uh, you can start the game. You'll see planes are starting to fly around at times ten of the time and I'm just gonna go back to pause but that's how you start the game and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the disease menu and start buying symptoms for my disease and how you do that is you just select down here by the way I have eight evo points this helps me buy symptoms and traits and supports and all sorts of stuff so um, my disease is gonna have let's see these are what I can buy right now with my evo points this takes one evil point, one evil point. You can read the descriptions if you want. This takes three evil points, but uh, I can't get those because they're locked right now. I need to, uh, I need to have a, a disease sequence length of four. Currently, I only have two, so I need to get two symptoms right now. So I'm going to make my disease have a runny nose, and what I'm looking for is an infection rate of about right there. I want it to be effective because what I'm trying to do is make this one guy spread it to all these continents because the whole goal is to kill everyone so it needs the disease needs to spread everywhere so I'm trying to get a high infection rate without getting a high lethal rate lethality rate or whatever because uh, lethal means it's gonna kill everything so you don't want them dying right now because then the government's gonna freak out and start closing borders and trying to find a vaccination which uh, for your disease what you want to do is just keep it on the DL the down low for now and you want to try to make this disease secret. You want to try to get all in these countries before anyone knows about it. And then, once people know about it, that's when you just take action and take over the whole entire world and kill everyone. But, uh, I'm going to make people... Oh, by the way, the visibility right here. That just means how easy it is for the government to figure out that it's out there. 
Um, so the higher this gets, that means they're going to start freaking out about it more. The media is going to start covering it. And you don't want that because that's when they start making a, a vaccination for it. But uh, I'm going to make my disease have a runny nose. So this one, the runny nose, you can read the description if you want. I'm not going to explain each symptom to you. And I'm going to activate this gene. So, oops, activate gene. There we go. Um, so what I just did is I create a symptom. And if you want to check out all the symptoms you have and all the supports, and traits you have for your disease. I'll explain those in just a second. Um, you can just click on disease and this is currently what my disease has. And here's all the killer attributes. Remember that's my disease name. And right now my uh, infection rate is quite low. I have no lethal rate so no one should die but sometimes they do. And visibility is very low as well so not many people know about this disease yet. And what I'm going to do is, actually, let me go back to the, I'm going to buy another symptom. I'm going to go to bloating. <laughs> and suddenly, that has unlocked all these options that were locked before, because remember, I had to have a sequence of four. I had two. Suddenly, I bought two symptoms, and now I have enough to get one of these symptoms right here. So I'm going to actually give my guys some sneezing, or uh, my disease some sneezing. So now people are going to start sneezing and spreading these germs around, and I can't buy anything else. Uh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go to the support in just a second. I'll go back to this menu and explain it, but uh, let me just start the game. So, right now I have one infected... Ooh, did I lose the game? Oh, phew. I was like, what? <laughs> I, I just... Okay, so I have one infected person. Phew, I was about to freak out. And I'm going to start the game. So airplanes are flying around and suddenly this disease is already spreading. I'm at 50 people, 52, 40, 36, so people are getting healthy again and you know they're freaking out. So the more infected people you get, the more evil points you get. So right now I have five and ooh, I mean, a woman in Peru died earlier today while receiving medical attention. So someone just died from my disease. So now it's getting out to the media, it's not a big deal. One person died from a disease that happens every day not a big deal so what i'm going to do right now is just go to my disease menu again and i'm going to go to supports i want this thing to spread faster so i'm going to go to supports and insect host so this is going to spread by insects now and i'm going to activate this uh, gene and now look at my disease i have insects sneezing bloating runny nose and all that fun stuff so now my disease should oops, have more people infected now. So I have 47 infected people right now. I'm going to speed this up to 4 uh, times 4 the speed just to get things rolling. Nothing crazy is happening right now, so you really kind of have to wait. And now I have 2 evil points. 3, so now I can do something. Um, I'm gonna get coughing, sneezing and coughing, kind of in the same genre, I guess. <laughs> and that should bring up the infection rates. In fact, I keep on selecting the wrong continent. It keeps on freaking me out whenever I see zero infected. All right, so now I have 80 people infected, so I'm starting to grow. And it takes about a million people infected to uh, get the ball rolling. Because right now, actually, let me, while everything's getting infected, let me buy something else. Um, let me buy this one. And, alright, so now I'm going to, let's see how many people are infected right now. So I have 116, 150 people getting infected. So it's starting to spread more and more. And it's only, it's only on one continent right now. It's on Peru. And I'm hoping to spread to uh, Brazil and hopefully the United States and then somehow travel over uh, through plane to Africa or whatever and I have 160 actually let me buy something before I'm gonna go to supports and I'm going to moisture capacity so it's gonna spread through water kind of have have a higher chance of spreading through water and now I'm at two 30, I mean, uh, 250 ish. But before I even keep on building up my disease, I'm going to go and click this world button, and this just gives you an overview of what's happening in this whole world. So, 
Peru is infected currently right now, and no other continent has this disease yet. And right now, hospitals open are 7 of 12, so don't, that's not a big deal because they don't know about this disease yet, but once these, uh, this disease gets out and people figure it out, they're going to start trying to make a vaccine, and the more hospitals there are, the faster this uh, elapsed time will be. So if there's 12 of 12, this might be a 12 day elapsed time for them to fi find a cure or whatever. So what you want to do is try to eliminate some hospitals. You can't really do that uh, strategically. It's kind of random how it happens, how uh, hospitals are taken out. But the uh, more powerful your disease is, the uh, basically more places will get taken out. And let's see how many people in that right now. I'm at three, almost 400. Alright, so what else do I want to get? Hmm. I'm going to actually go to these symptoms over here and I'm going to get diarrhea. No, that's lethal, so I don't want to kill people just yet. I want to infect more people. So I'm going to go back to my ones and just start choosing some infection. I don't want any lethal right now because I don't want to kill anybody yet. I just want people to get infected, which is INF, and I want it to have low visibility, so I don't, probably don't want to choose this one. I don't want people to find out this about this disease just yet. And let's see how many people. I'm at 500 people, 700, 1,000. Starting to jump now, starting to spread. Ooh, slow that down. An unknown disease was found. Uh, they don't know what it is, so that's that's fine. It's not a big deal. And let's see, I'm at 2,000 people. Let's see how fast this thing spreads. 3,000. All right, so let's start buying some support. So what I'm going to try to do is spread this by animal. So I'm going to choose bird host and activate this gene. So suddenly birds are, you know, carrying this disease as well. 6,000 people, 8,000. <laughs> We're at 10,000. Now I'm going to go to the world. Oh, by the way. So now I have three people dead from this disease, and currently, uh, wow, this thing's jumping like crazy. 80,000 infected, 100,000 people are starting to get infected from my disease. People are going down. <laughs> uh, right now, officials in Peru have been able to explore this Sorry, I'm reading this uh, message on here to see what the government's saying. But some have estimated that perhaps as many as 100,000 people. So I'm at a million infected people. Alright. So I have a lot of evil points now. I'm going to uh, spread this more by rodents. And I'm going to also going to uh, get, where is it? Moisture. Capacity of 2. So I'm just increasing the uh, percentage chance or whatever. Oh! And now I'm in another continent. Look at that. So I am in Brazil, and currently I have over 3 million people infected in Peru, and over 151 infected in currently Brazil. So let's spread that some more. I have 5 Evo points and see what I can get. Um, we don't want to create a fever yet because it has very a lot of lethal. We still want to infect the whole continent before we start trying to kill people. And Let's just go with this one right here, just to do something, I guess. And I'm going to save up for Airborne, probably. Um, so let's speed this sucker up now, just to get things rolling. So I'm at 400k, a so million now in that country. Um, so a lot of, uh, wow, 21 billion, I mean 21 million. So a lot of people are getting infected, which is good. It's already spread it to uh, across the ocean over here, into Europe. Mine, well, I'm already in, uh, what is that? Thailand, nice. And Japan? Not in New Zealand or Australia, but I'm getting there. So everything's starting to get infected, which is awesome. That's good news. Ooh, I, I have a lot of evil points now I'm getting sidetracked. Usually you want to spend them. Uh, you don't have to wait as long as I am, but I'm trying to talk and explain everything. But, uh... Let's see. I'm gonna go to support and waterborne, sure. And airborne. There, suddenly now it travels by air and water, which is good. So it should even spread even faster than it is now. 
And currently, if I go to the world view, I have 1 billion people infected and 5 billion uh, people that are healthy and are infected. And I only have 59 people that died from my disease yet. So this is not a this is not a bad problem yet for the government. They're thinking to themselves, oh, not many people died from it. It's not too big of a deal. But wait until a couple more minutes and we'll be able to kill a lot of people. All right. Let's spread it even more. Now, we don't want to waste all of our uh, money just, or our Evo points just yet. I'm going to start choosing some traits. Infected are 50 less likely to recover from your disease. That's awesome. I don't want people recovering from this disease. Um, former, I think, yeah, this one. So that means people are going to get infected fast. Ah, people, people are mostly infected all across the world right now, so I don't need to worry about 100%. Actually, let's do that. So 100% of the people are going to be affected from this uh, whenever they encounter insects, rodents, or birds. If they encounter it, just keep that in mind. It's not, you know, everyone suddenly gets infected now. They have to encounter it first. So now I have, I think, almost every continent. Let's look. Yep, I, only, I don't have Madagascar or Iceland. So we're going to wait until we get those countries first before we do anything. Iceland, what are you doing? Get infected already. This time is by 10. Speed up the time. Everything's open there. This don't want anyone in. Ooh, got that place. Yeah, you're infected now, Madagascar, and we're gonna infect this uh, this one eventually. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now it's time to kill people. Um, so currently I have 2 billion people infected and 4 billion healthy, so I'm going to speed up the process and go to times 10. I want more people infected. I don't want to cause a scare just yet. I want more people infected before I start trying to kill everyone. Ooh, that one's going down. Uh, I'm going to try to infect more people. Actually, let's just, let's just go crazy. I'm gonna buy this super deadly uh, gene right here. And look at that lethal, it's full percent, full hundred percent lethal. And I'm gonna do liver failure as well. And let's go back and let's look at this. So, three million people are already dead. Remember, there's only like 300, 300 people before I did that, but now people are dying like crazy. 14 million. And I'm looking right there, by the way, every time I flash up the screen. So I'm at 17 million, 22 million, and now the government's saying so. Scientists eagerly announced today that research has begun. So now they have started research, which isn't good. I probably, I kind of try to speed through things through this tutorial. I don't want to make this like an hour long video. So I kind of did the strategy wrong, but uh, I think you guys get the point. But uh, right now they're researching a vaccine, which is not good because we're not killing enough people to uh, balance that. Let's buy that. But uh, I think you guys do get the point of what's happening. So I'm starting to kill more people. I have killed 78 million people. I have 4 billion people infected. And what I'm going to try to do is just infect as many people as possible right now before that research gets done. Actually, I'm not going to be able to get into that. See, they, they Afghanistan shut their borders, which means I can't get in there. Which means I'm screwed. So I've lost the game basically. Because I don't, I don't see any way how I'm gonna get into Afghanistan. There's no airports to get in there. No one in that country is infected. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to get in this country. Which means I lose. That sucks. But I think you guys get the point um, of the game. I sped through it, so I made a lot of mistakes in this game. But uh, you guys should get the premise of what's going on and hopefully understand everything. So. See, I just died right there. Vaccine, vac vaccine released, and I lost because of that. So don't make the mistake I did. Make sure you infect more people before you uh, start trying to kill people on a massive scale. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that helped you. It's kind of a long video, but that's okay. I think that will uh, help all of you discover how to play the game because it's it's very confusing at first. It's like, what am I doing? What's INF stand for? What's LET stand for? Whatever. Hopefully this all helped you and I will talk to you guys later.